This video tutorial shows how to extend an ABAP managed database procedure, short EMDP, in a modification free manner using EMDP business add ins as of application server ABAP 7.4 support package 8. The use case underlying this demo is that a software provider offers a standard logic for classifying business partners. This logic is provided in an AMDP method. It is expected that each customer buying this solution has its own way to classify the business partners and therefore will have to adapt the standard. To allow an adaptation in a modification-free manner, the software provider in the role of the extension provider has to provide such extension possibility that will then be consumed by the customer in the role of the extension consumer. The different roles and tasks will be shown in the video. First, the extension provider will create the enhancement spot with the EMDP body definition and metadata. Then he will have to specify the implementation contract by defining the EMDP body interface and implementing the fallback class. Last but not least, he will have to integrate the EMDP body in the application code. And then he will create an appropriate EMDP body implementation in the enhancement spot and set it to active. Last but not least, he will test the final result. Let's start with the demo. I have created a demo report which shows the result of the customer classification. Some customer information are displayed on the left side and at the far right is the column with the classification category. Now let's have a look at the code behind this call. It is an EMDP class. We can see the types and method definition. In the class implementation, the classification is implemented as an EMDP method. As extension provider, I will enable a modification-free enhancement of this method using body. For that, I have to go to transaction SC20 and first create an enhancement spot. Having done that, I now have to create a body definition. Here I have to select the new option AMDP body. For this demo, I will create a single use body. I don't yet have a body interface to specify, so I have to create one. As you can see, the mandatory body interface is already specified in the created template. Also mandatory in case of EMDP body is the specification of the EMDP market interface. I will just copy the relevant information such as the EMDP market interface and the method definition from the demo class and will paste it, paste it into my EMDP body interface. In addition, I'm changing the name of the interface method so you can easily recognize the different calls during the demo. I can now save and activate the interface. Let's go back to the body definition. We are not yet ready because the specification of the fallback class is mandatory for AMDP body. The fallback class is called if there is no active body implementation. I have not yet created one, so let's just do it right now. As you can see, all the relevant interfaces are already specified in the template. I now have to implement the method and for that I will just copy and paste the logic from the main demo class. I can now save and activate the class. 
I'm through with the fallback class and can now go back and activate my body definition. As an extension provider, I could have also provided some body implementations. The body does not do anything right now. I need to call it somewhere in my code. For that, let's go back to the main demo class and replace the default classification logic by the body invocation. I've prepared a code template for this purpose. As you can see, the AMDP body call is syntactically analog to the call of an AMDP procedure. It must also be declared after the method addition using. Let's run the demo report again as a test. Cool, it works as before. So I'm true with my task as extension provider. I will now take over the role of the extension consumer and will provide my own custom implementation of the classification. For that, I have to provide an implementation class which fulfills the extension contract by implementing the specific AMDP body interface. For this demo, I will simply copy the fallback class and change the values of the category field in the method implementation. I have also prepared a code template for this purpose. The implementation could have been totally different by, for example, making use of other AMDP methods or ABAP dictionary objects and even making use of HANA native functions. I can now save and activate my implementation class. The next step for me as an extension consumer is to create an appropriate body implementation in the body definition. So let's go back to the enhancement spot and create the body implementation into the body definition. In the creation dialog, I have to provide a name and a description for the body implementation and specify the name of the implementation class I just created. I can now save and activate the body and make sure that the body implementation is active and will be called. So I'm true now and I can execute the demo report for the last time and check the result of the classification. As we can see, the new classification values are displayed in the category column, which means the custom implementation has been executed. This is the end of the demo. For more information, guides and tutorials, please visit our homepage on SCN. Thank you.